it, I don't know where to begin. <laughs> I just got the call and verification that I have a bike secured for my 48 states in 10 days challenge just now. I, <laughs> I haven't fully even comprehended this yet. But, guys, I'm so excited. So now, I guess, let the rest of the planning begin. <sighs> yes. <laughs> My... <laughs> Um, COV, which is the company owned vehicle lease, all of the paperwork that I need for it. And now I just need to get on the road and go get the bike. So let's get going. <laughs> okay, dokie. Okay. I went to wave and I couldn't. <laughs> Maybe no waving until you're used to it. I know. That works too. I am riding all 48 states within 10 days on a 2021 Harley Davidson Pan America special. Let's get into the details. My why. There's a lot. There's a lot of things on the list of why I'm doing what I'm doing. The real reason I guess getting down to the heart of the matter is I completed a Saddle Soar 1000 through the Iron Butt Association last year, but I wanted to do something more. I wanted to see if I could push my limits a little bit longer. I enjoyed the long distance riding. I enjoyed the challenge. I enjoyed the prep work, all of the stuff that goes into preparing for these things. So I came across the 48 states in 10 days challenge. For me, um, I would love to ride all 50. I did, uh, ride in Hawaii earlier this year, but unfortunately with everything that is still going on yet in the world, I didn't think the 49 states would be doable right now for me. So I get stuck with the 48 and 10 and planned my route for that. It was co-founded in 1988, I wanna say, yeah, pretty much established then by two people, Mike Kneebone and Fran Crane. He is actually still the president owner of Iron Butt Association. And Fran Crane, if you're not familiar with her, definitely go and do your research. She's an amazing woman that I wish was still alive here today. But for her sake, and really the only other 15 females that I counted on the 48 States in 10 Days Challenge list that's provided um, through the iron butt, I wanted, I wanted to be one of those individuals. That was my main motivation to do it. And then the reason why for the bike. So as I'm creating this proposal for, um, pretty much for Harley Davidson, I knew that this bike was being released around the same time of when I was planning my 48 States in 10 Days Challenge. So I reached out to them with a proposal um, all laid out. So all of my social media metrics, the collaborations, the partnerships that I made with these um, connections on digital media outlets, things like that. I put it all together, sent it into them and just held my breath. I really didn't know 
what to expect and if they were going to even take the bait for my sake but they did they fully supported what i was trying to do for not only myself as a female rider but also for this bike this bike has not been in any of the iron butt association record books and i wanted to do that for for them so i have plans to do a saddle sore 1000 which is again is the thousand miles in 24 hour mark headed out to babes ride out east coast um and then my 48 states in 10 days challenge with this bike it comes with all the bells and whistles i know it is an adv bike but for my sake i wanted to push it to the other extreme i wanted to show that this bike can do dirt yes but it absolutely can do pavement for long distance at a time so it has heated grips it has cruise control it has all the things that my little 2003 sportster does not have <laughs> well, harley davidson is helping me with the actual bike maintenance itself um they're doing the 1k service the 5k service also the 10k service during my 48 states in 10 days challenge um but also the hard cases there's a waterproof bag on it as well as the top passenger um hard case and the tank bag as well so for my end that was awesome and they were more than happy to hardwire my gps garmin onto the handlebars and into the battery so i'm set up on this bike and with it being so new and pretty much the miles that i'm going to be putting on this thing I am, I, I feel almost like I'm a test rat, like I am doing something that they may have not done on this bike and I'm pushing limits and capabilities on it that they may have not had a chance to do. Maybe they have, I don't know the secrets in the back end of corporate, but I'm excited to really put it through the test and see what it's capable of doing as far as long distance riding goes. So my route. So technically I am leaving on June 21st, 2021. Um, and I originally had my route planned for nine days, not um, all the way up until the 10 days. So I should be done before July 1st if things go according to plan. I have 7,691 miles for my exact route, but I am pretty much leaving South Wisconsin, right on the border of Wisconsin, Illinois. So I have to drive down there and I also have to come back. So my route is taking me, starting in Wisconsin, all the way through to the East Coast, getting all of those states done down to Florida, up through uh, Tennessee, cutting down to California, all the way up north again, and ending in the Midwest states. So I technically will be done in Iowa, and I need to head back that next day. So I've got about 700 miles the day after um, to get back here in Wisconsin. That is the route. I do have it planned out. I will share with you guys after I'm done for, for the safety of my sake only uh, myself my close family and friends have my tracking and my route and harley of course has that information for now so i'll share with you after the fact how can you stay in touch how can i share this stuff with you if you really want to tune in the best way to do it is actually to uh, um follow me on instagram during the actual challenge part i'll share snippets and um, instagram stories hopefully on a daily basis depending on how things go um sleep is a big priority for me so i <laughs> have to wager either i'm riding or i am sleeping when it comes to this challenge but i'm going to share those on the instagram account during the actual challenge and then make sure to subscribe to this channel because after the fact i will share each day as its own separate video on probably a weekly basis that's my hope and my goal for it but we'll see how things actually go for the challenge but subscribe so that you don't miss out on any of the actual footage for the event it sounds like an event but it's really not <laughs> i don't know what else to say but last most important part for me is just a really 
huge, huge thank you to everyone that has supported me so far in this through Instagram messages, direct messages, um, actual physical gas money. You guys are phenomenal. I have my PayPal account in here if you want to provide any sort of support in gas money and hotel stays for my point i appreciate it 100 percent because this is pretty much self-funded besides the bike the additions that go on to it and the maintenance from harley everything is on me last thank you i have is really to harley davidson like being from wisconsin and being that close to the brand and the heritage and everything, the legacy that all goes along with it. I've always appreciated them. And now that they're seeing what I'm trying to accomplish and are able to support me in this sort of way, I am just without words and really can't be grateful enough for it. They're giving me the tools that I need to be able to do this challenge without any hesitations and it's it's awesome to see yeah that's all i got for today thank you guys so much for tuning in and we'll see you guys very shortly on the road wish me luck i'm gonna need it but i also have the confidence in myself to do it but your support is fantastic you good Initial thoughts on the bike. I am very comfortable in this position. I like that I am higher up as well. Like I don't feel, I have a different kind of presence with this bike and I like it. I wanna say aggressive cause it's not really, but I just feel more confident in how I'm positioned on this bike to do this type of riding. Like. I'm gonna be fighting cars and trailers and trucks and semis. Like I'm not taking this guy off road. This is that's not the purpose of my 40 and 10 challenge. Like this is it right here. Warm weather, traffic, and me and the bike. <laughs>